Hello everyone. Our group name is petani.com which we present a design project entitled Reduce Carbon Footprint in Meat Processing Industry with IoT Application. So this is my group members and I am Zafira. So our project background is we focusing on the meat production in food industry as this production release high carbon footprint of or CO2 emission. In meat production, from the land use to the processing until packaging, all these things contribute to the carbon emission. However, we will touch only the meat processing in the factory. The pie chart shown in the figure is showing the statistic of greenhouse cases contribution by the food type in average diet. And meat is conquered the biggest percentage in the chart, which is 56.6%. The bar chart on the right is showing the pounds of CO2 equivalent per serving. As we can see, the beef emits 6.6 .6 pounds of CO2 per serving, which the difference between the second highest is almost 4.2 pounds. From the statistic itself, we can see the meat contribute the high, to the high carbon footprint. The main problem that need to be solved is uh, increased carbon footprint in meat processes. As I said earlier, the previous chart shows the meat industry has the highest contribution in carbon footprint emissions. To solve the carbon footprint emission problem, one of the steps is reduce the excessive use of natural resources. In general, uh, this is because the electricity used in the factory is high and it leads to high dependency of natural resources in generating electricity. The un uncontrollable emission of greenhouse gases from the meat processing industry is one of the critical areas need to be solved. The highest contribution for this issue is from the cooling system. From the system, from the system running at the meat industry, the efficiency shortfall in key processes also contrib contribute to the carbon footprint emissions. Thank you. I will pass to uh, Ishad. Hello, guys. So let's go to the aim. The aim is to design and develop an enhanced system to reduce the carbon footprint emission in meat processing industry with IoT application. Moving on to the objectives. The objective is to design an enhanced renewable energy system in order to reduce dependency on the normal coal and natural gas electricity generation. It also to develop a smart system for the cooling storage in meat processing industry to increase efficiency of the energy use. Next, to construct an automated monitoring and order system for the livestock, to build an automatic distribution convey system, as well as to evaluate system performance based on the integrated system. Hi, my name is Harit Singh and uh, today I'll be talking about the methodology. So for solar, the purpose of using the system is to generate a clean energy and with that, we're able to reduce the dependency of conventional system, which we get from the grid, as we know, creates carbon from the station. From here, we use IoT to monitor the PV system to ensure that the system is performing to its very best ability every day. We can be seen in the literature review section of the solar, PV system reduces the carbon footprint. We then move on to the enhanced cooling system. The system is to monitor this, the system temperature in the refrigeration. This will be an automatic control system. And with this, we use IoT to monitor the system. This is introduced to optimize usage of cooling system and in, in optimize the usage of cooling system in meat processing, which will then reduce carbon footprint in the factory because refrigeration causes greenhouse gases. Last but not least is the livestock monitoring. The system helps in creating a stable environment and monitors the quality of livestock. The stock unit is constantly updated and based on that, the next order of livestock is calculated. This is done by emailing the supplier for exact quantity of livestock needed. All the data are then displayed onto the dashboard. And with this, we can, by controlling the number of livestock in the stable, carbon footprint emission can be controlled with the aid of IoT monitoring. The smart conveyor system will operate based from the mass of the load detected on the conveyor belt at which the motor power for the conveyor will change based from the mass detected on the conveyor belt as lesser mass detected will slow down the conveyor's speed and thus reducing the, num the power consumed by the conveyor. Next, the methodology for air curtain system is it will switch on according to the opening of the door. Three different buttons is prepared to show three different scenarios for the worker. The door will only open if the user is within the set distance from the door. Once the button is pressed, the door will open accordingly. The door will close automatically once the user passes through the door. Based on the count, the user can advise their worker to use the door more efficiently. Our integrated system is using the Raspberry Pi that acts as our MQTT broker. This is Raspberry Pi with LCD and router. An integrated GUI using Node-RED has been developed to give an overview of the whole process to the user. So this is our GUI. 
The first system is the enhanced cloning system. This system is implemented with PID controller which it is calculated in the program. The GUI will show the temperature and compressor value. Once the temperature is 30 degrees Celsius, the user will be informed that the temperature is too high for the system using pop-up message. When the temperature is increased, the speed of the compressor which represented by the small fan will increase too. It is to maintain the temperature at the set point value. Then, the smart conveyor system. The potassium meter was used to replace lot cell, which it is used to represent the weight of the mean. When the potassium meter resistance is increased, the speed of the conveyor will also increase for better efficiency. As you can see, the small conveyor belt shown in the video is slowing down as the width of the mid is decreasing. However, when it is below 10 kg, the conveyor will stop. The third system is the livestock monitory system with CO2 concentration detection. The counter utilizes IR sensor to automatically count the livestock that pass through in and out the holding area. The GUI shows the number of current stock and gas concentration. The system includes automatic ordering system via email, to the supplier at specific time, and manual ordering is also available. The fourth system is the smart air curtain. As we press the button and take a look at the GUI, it will update the current door status and counter for the door usage in real time. The door will close automatically once the user passes through the door. Thus, the user can monitor the number of the worker passing through the door per day, and the user can advise their worker to use the door more efficiently. This is the result of the carbon footprint emission for the proposed integrated system. The result shows that the system can reduce up to 20% compared to the conventional system. Hi, my name is Mohamed Zukairi. Moving on to the innovative and enhancement. Dedicated server for better security. Our system will be using a private MQTT server, which will have higher security protocol. All the data transferred here can only be accessed by handful workers only. PID controller to control the temperature. The usage of PID controller would further increase the efficiency of the storage and also the freezer capacity to decrease the greenhouse gases emission. Notification system. Along the process, different notification system incorporated will help to notify the respective worker of any unusual data. Therefore, appropriate action could be taken to tackle the rising problem. Moving on to sustainability, usage of renewable energy is cleaner, greener. Since we will be using the solar energy to partially supply the overall usage of energy, the system will be using lesser non-renewable energy where this could reduce the carbon footprint. Consistency can be maintained in terms of efficiency. All the enhanced system could help to maintain the efficiency of the system. Good efficiency means there will be lesser energy usage, better control over the system, better handling of the meat products and better product output as end product. Protect the environment by lowering the emission of carbon footprints. Lower carbon footprints could help to slow down the graph uh, for climate change and global warming as we know that uh, carbon is one of the highest level of emission in the atmosphere. That's all from us. Thank you.